Today is day 171 of A Song A Day Keeps the Virus Away. And, you know, I'm going to turn on a couple lights here because this looks awfully dark. Oh, let's see. I'll turn this light on. And I'll turn the Christmas tree lights on. Let's see how that helps. And get there. I need a longer extension cord. There's that, and there's one more light I can turn on. Maybe that'll be sufficient. Let's see. Does that help at all? That's a little better. Oh, phew. Don't like these dark days. Well, we're about to have a snowstorm, supposedly. We're going to have up to a foot of snow by Friday morning. That's what it's sounding like. Um, probably won't start till tomorrow night. But... Uh, I'll still be here. As long as we have electricity, I'll be here. Uh, and um, we have gas for the generator. So even if we lose electricity, hopefully we should be able to uh, have power enough to sing for you. And, uh, <laughs> and the lights are on. Yes, Jim, they are. <laughs> I turned them on. Phew. Um, so anyway, today, well, actually, first of all, I got to say, my album is out. I've sent everything off the people at the post office were great they got them out in the first truck at christmas time even pomfret connecticut has two trucks in a day so they went out yesterday at one in one in the afternoon and um so this whole week i'm going to be singing songs from my new album and today i'd like to share with you this song henry box brown which i learned from the singing of lisa null the melody comes from uh, stephen foster and Henry Box Brown was a man in slavery in the 1800s, and he escaped slavery after watching his wife and children being sold away from him. He escaped slavery by getting a, a, a local um, carpenter to build him a tiny little box. It was like three feet by two feet by two and a half feet, I think. Tiny little box. And he got in the box and then shipped himself express from Richmond, Virginia, where he was uh, at the time, and to Quaker family in Philadelphia. And it took 24 hours. And he nearly died several times in this box. And if you'd like to read more about his uh, adventures, you can actually find his autobiography in Google Books. He, he spent a good part of the end of his life traveling the country telling his story and um, as an abolitionist. And what else can I tell you about this wonderful guy? Oh, um, Kadir Nelson um, illustrated a wonderful book uh, by, uh, about him. Um, and the, the woman that wrote the book is Ellen, and I can't remember her last name, sorry. I should have gotten it before I got here, but I didn't. But you can find it um, at, on, in any bookstore. Um, it's a wonderful children's picture book that tells the story in a very approachable way. Ah, Susan Turner says, that's a lovely tree. Oh, it is a lovely tree. My brother gave it to me. My, my entire family now has fake trees. My sister, my brother, and now moi. We all have fake trees. And uh, my father is rolling in his grave. We used to go out into the backwoods and cut a tree every year. And uh, oh, he would never, ever have had uh, a fake tree. So. Um, He's rolling in his grave, that's all I can say. Well, here is Henry Box Brown. Here you see a man by the name of Henry Brown who ran away from the south to the north which he would not have done, but they took away his rights, but they'll never do the likes anymore. Brown lay down the shovel and the hole, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown, in the box by express he did go. And the orders they were given and the cars did hard start away Roll along, roll along, roll along Down to the landing where the steamboat lay To bear the baggage off to the north Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe Down in the box he did go No more slave 
work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express. He did go. When they packed the baggage on, they turned him on his head. Then poor Brown liked to have died. There were passengers on board who would like to sit down, and they turned the box down on its side. Brown laid down the shovel and the hoe. Down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express he did go. When they got to the cars, they threw the box off. And down upon his head he did fall. Then he heard his neck crack and he thought that it was broke. He never did that anymore. The brown lay down the shovel and the hoe. Down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express. When they got to Philadelphia, they said he was in port, and Brown then began to feel glad. He was taken on the wagon to his final destination and left this side up with care. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown. Box by express he did go. The friends gathered round and asked if all was right. It's down on the box they did rap. Brown answered them saying, Yes, all is right. He was then set free from his pain. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe. Down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express he did go. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe. Down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express he did go. Henry Box Brown. His autobiography on Google Books is pretty interesting. Um, and one thing I don't know if you could tell from the song the first time through, he had he he was transferred by several modes of transportation. He was first taken on a cart to the um, to the trains, and he was on the train for a while, and then he was on a boat, and then he was on another wagon. Um, so this box got transferred a gazillion times. Um, and you can read more about it, like I say, either from the children's picture book or from Brown's own words on Google Books. Um, and the album, Old Friends I Never Met, it has 17 songs on it, all about interesting people. And uh, I wrote, I think I wrote, what's 17 minus 4? I wrote 13 of them. And... Um, you can get it at www.sallyrogers.com. And I want to thank you again for your incredible support during this pandemic. And aren't we glad the vaccine has arrived? I don't even care if I have to wait a long time to get it. Just knowing it's there is a hopeful sign. So be well, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.